Hi there, I'm here to explain how to play zombie kittens. The game is simple. There are always a few exploding kittens shuffled in the draw pile. You play the game by putting the draw pile face down and taking turns drawing cards until somebody draws an exploding kitten. When that happens, that person explodes and is out of the game. But because this is zombie kittens, there is a way for a player to come back from the dead. But we'll talk about that in a moment. All the other cards in the game will help you avoid drawing the exploding kittens. For example, you might play a card that lets you secretly look at the top few cards before drawing, or a card that lets you force another player to draw instead of you. Players keep playing and drawing cards until there's only one player left, and that person wins the game. Basically, if you explode, you lose. If you don't explode, you win. To get started, we're going to set up the game for the number of players you're playing with. Gather all the cards and remove all the exploding kitten cards from the deck. Put them aside in a pile. Next, if you're playing with two players, you'll only need the cards with this symbol in the corner. So remove all the other cards and put them back in the box. If you're playing with three players, you're going to be playing with the cards that don't have this symbol. If you're playing with four or five players, you're going to be playing with all the cards regardless of whether or not they have that symbol. Now that your deck has the correct cards, remove all of the zombie kitten cards and give out one to each player. In a four player game, the extra zombie kitten card will be shuffled back into the deck. Zombie Kitten cards are the most powerful cards in the game. They are the only card that can save you after you draw an exploding kitten. So try to get as many Zombie Kitten cards as you can during the game. Shuffle the deck and deal seven cards face down to each player. Everyone should have eight cards total now. Look at your cards, but keep them secret. The final step is to shuffle the correct number of exploding kitten cards into the deck. The number of exploding kitten cards you want is equal to the number of players minus one. That way, there's enough exploding kittens for everyone to explode except for one player who wins the game. So if you're playing with three players, shuffle two exploding kittens into the deck. If you're playing with four players, shuffle three exploding kittens in. You get the idea. Put any extra exploding kitten cards back in the box because you won't need them. Give the deck a good shuffle and put it face down in the middle of the table. That's your draw pile. Leave some room for a discard pile as well. Now pick a player to go first and then continue clockwise around the table. When it's your turn, the most important thing to worry about is not drawing an exploding kitten. There are two parts to your turn, play or pass, and then draw. Play or pass means you can play any of the cards from your hand or pass by playing none at all. To play a card, just play it face up in the discard pile and follow the instructions on the card. You can play as many cards as you like, or again, pass and play no cards at all. When you're done playing cards, or you've decided to pass and play no cards, you must draw the top card from the draw pile and hope it's not an exploding kitten. Let's look at an example. Let's say it's your turn and you just have a bad feeling about the top card in the draw pile. In your hand, you have a see the future card, which allows you to privately view the top three cards of the draw pile. So you decide to play it by placing it face up in the discard pile. When you secretly look at the top three cards, you see that the top card is an exploding kitten. If you draw that card, you'll explode and be out of the game. So you decide to play a second card from your hand, a shuffle card. This card allows you to shuffle the draw pile. After giving the pile a good shuffle, you decide to risk it and end your turn by drawing the top card, hoping it's not an exploding kitten. Remember, this game is different from most of the other games you've played because you play cards and then draw a card to end your turn. Play or pass, then draw a card and hope it's not an exploding kitten. Play or pass, then draw. Play or pass, then draw. Play or pass, then draw. Got it? Well, you blow up, unless you have a zombie kitten card. Remember when I told you to try to get as many of these as possible? That's because if you draw an exploding kitten and you have a zombie kitten card, you can play the zombie kitten card instead of exploding. Whenever a player chooses to play a zombie kitten to save themselves from exploding, if there are any dead players, they must bring one of them back into the game. If they choose to bring you back into the game, they will put their zombie kitten in the discard pile and then they will take the exploding kitten that killed them and the exploding kitten in front of you and put them both separately back into the draw pile anywhere they'd like in secret. You are now a live player and must take your turns as normal. When putting the exploding kittens back in the deck, you can put them anywhere you'd like. You can hold the cards under the table so no one can see where you put them. You can put an exploding kitten on the bottom of the deck two cards down, 
somewhere in the middle, or just randomly. If you want to hurt the player right after you, just secretly put it right back on top of the draw pile. If you're putting two exploding kittens back into the deck because you're bringing another player back to life, you can put them in two separate locations in the deck. If you play a zombie kitten and there is more than one dead player, you can choose any one of the dead players you'd like to bring back into the game. But choose carefully. They can only win if they eventually outlive you. If you draw an exploding kitten and you don't have a zombie kitten, or have one and choose not to play it, you're dead. Put the exploding kitten that killed you face up in front of you and keep the rest of your cards in your hand. Maybe someone will play a zombie kitten later and bring you back to life. If you draw an exploding kitten, you do not have to play a zombie kitten, even if you have one. You might choose to intentionally die to avoid drawing cards for a while and shield yourself from the other players. Just hope another player will eventually bring you back into the game. Dead players don't take a turn, but they can still play any card with this symbol in the title or a nope card to affect the game. You cannot steal cards from dead players unless a card specifically allows you to. Cards like Favor or Pair of Cat Cards do not let you steal from a dead player. If you're the only player alive, you win! If you have any questions about how a particular card works, just read the field guide. That's it! Have fun!